So I've got a video for you guys and uh, this is something that I've never done on this channel and I really wanted to make a change and actually start doing this particular item mainly for the fact that there are a lot of photographers out there watching my channel and I'm not really catering towards photography as much anymore but I do want to tap into that because these are the things that I want to do obviously when I am traveling as well and uh, obviously when things are opening back up traveling is becoming a lot more common and I'm going to New Zealand quite soon I think it's like in about three weeks time or two weeks time so it's going to be really interesting especially I was just in Bangkok in Thailand and I did want to do photography there and I couldn't bring this particular item because well I didn't have an item small enough and without further ado we're gonna be talking about this tripod right here the Ulanzi and Komen this is the zero Y tripod and I'm gonna give you a couple of tips on how to take better photos with this tripod and increase your photography game. So this is one of the biggest benefits about having a tripod like this. You don't just have to mount the camera on top and get just a regular angle where you are, you know, relatively this high. You can actually undersling it, put the camera upside down and take different sort of style of landscape photography like this. It's just a perspective that people aren't generally used to seeing. So these are the kind of shots you probably want to try and go after. And it's really easy to actually flip this tripod into the undersling mode. All you need to do is just unscrew the little hook tool on the end, lift up the clamp, slide it out and put it back into the undersling mode. And then you're pretty much done. And then obviously in post-production, it's going to be upside down. Just flip it uh, 180 degrees and you're all solid. It's going to be a pretty interesting view and uh, it, trust me, it's a really good idea and I absolutely recommend it. Now this tripod is super light. It's just over one kilo. It is a great travel friendly tripod and I am so excited to be taking this to New Zealand because New Zealand is going to be an incredible place for photography. And I really wish I had this in Bangkok, in Thailand. But, you know, I didn't, so I did have to do a lot of handheld stuff or place the camera on the ground or on a backpack. And thankfully, I don't have to do that now. So one of the greatest things about this tripod, it's only 1.1 kilos or just under 1.1 kilos. So it's very light, it's made of carbon fiber and it's easy to travel. Obviously, you saw it on my low pro bag just on the backpack, uh, which is a perfect fit. And uh, sometimes when I do want to travel light, this is going to be a really good option. Specifically, like I was saying, we're going to New Zealand in a couple of weeks. Weeks. This is going to be an amazing tripod to take into all those you know, mountainous areas and lakes. Uh, so you're not going to be traveling, traveling with a whole bunch of heavy gear. And that's the great thing about having a nice light Sony Alpha camera system is that it's a great combination. It's light. It's not going to be tiring you out. And you're going to be getting some really good shots with this. Now, I think one of the greatest things when it comes to this small tripod is that it goes from 15.3 centimeters when it's at the at its lowest to 1.56 meters tall or 156 centimeters tall. That is very impressive for such a small light compact tripod. Now, it is a very well built design. It is carbon fiber all the way through these shafts and it's very durable plastic on the top here. Now there is one really major important tip that I actually want to be talking about that not a lot of people actually talk about when it comes to landscape photography and that is clean your sensor and clean your lens front of the lens and the back of the lens because if you are actually shooting uh, quite stop down at like let's say f16 or f22 we probably wouldn't shoot to stop down because that's when lens diffraction happens your lens isn't as sharp but if you are shooting quite stopped down you're going to see all the sensor dust the specks of dust on the lens specks of dust on the sensor it's going to be quite prominent and then you're going to have to fix it in post and it's a bit of a nightmare if you are going to do that. So I do suggest when it comes to landscape photography, when it comes to anything, keep your sensor nice and clean, keep your lenses nice and clean front and back, and you should be sweet, no specks of dust. Now, why am I telling you this? Well, because I made the mistake. I went to Japan probably a couple of years ago now in 2020, just before and all my shorts had specks of dust on it. Now, as always, when it comes to photography tripods, they are very light and you obviously don't want them to blow away in the wind. So you do have this hook down the bottom that you can place your backpack on there to weigh the center of gravity down. So it's not gonna to be toppling over in the wind, especially if you are doing some long time lapses and letting it sit down in that wind. Now, if these clips on the bottom here do come loose, it does come with an included tool directly in here. So that is really, really cool that you don't actually have to be, you know, searching around for Allen keys. 
that it actually does come with one included into the tripod. Now, another thing that is included into the tripod that isn't really common is this quarter inch screw on the side of the tripod. That isn't really common and that is really cool if you do want to attach your phone onto the side, if you do want to attach an external monitor, something bigger than you know your small three inch screen. Really depends, there's so many different options that you can actually have here. Now, obviously there are really big benefits when it comes to having a tripod or not having a tripod, specifically with photography. Getting the horizons nice and flat, doing longer shutter speeds and trying to get some nice creamy waters, then obviously a tripod is the way to go. Placing this on a backpack or placing this on a ground may not have that horizon nice and level. So this just ensures that you are going to get the best photo possible. The cool things about the bottom here is you can actually switch these for a metal head right here. So if you do want to dig it into a little bit more of the ground, and it won't slip away, that's what you can do. Or you can get these rubber heads here if you are doing photography for like real estate photography on really nice floor, really nice surface that you don't wanna scratch, this is a better option. And I don't know if you've been to New Zealand, but it is an incredible place. It has snow, it has mountains, it has glaciers, it has green flowy grass. It's probably one of the best places in the world when it comes to photography, when it comes to just the beautiful location. I cannot wait to go there. This is gonna help me capture some incredible looking photos. And uh, yeah, I absolutely recommend this one. And be sure to see more tripod reviews on this channel because yeah, I really do wanna check out the best tripods because I love shooting handheld. I am a massive believer in handheld photography, in handheld videography, but there are those moments where you do just wanna slow down, chuck it onto a nice sturdy tripod and get some different shots. But anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. That'd be absolutely amazing. Subscribe to my YouTube channel if you haven't already. Link will be in the description below if you do wanna check out this tripod. Other than that, I'll see you in the next one. All right, let's get it.